Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. In today's video, we are going to discuss funk in C-sharp. Funk is a really cool concept, but a lot of people get confused with it. So I'm going to break it down for you and explain you with a live example. So without wasting our time, let's get started. So what's the definition of funk in C-sharp? So funk is nothing but a delegate which is a generic so funk is nothing but a generic delegate in c sharp now what is delegate i have made another video on what is delegate with an example link of the video is in the description box below and you might have seen some notification here or somewhere so you can go and check out that video but to tell you in short delegate is nothing but just to tell you what is delegate in a simple words, delegate is nothing but a pointer to a method. It is nothing but a reference to a method. Now, what type of method? Like I mentioned before, this is a generic delegate. So if you see the definition of funks, it it has t which is nothing but a input of generic type so t could be of any type this funks hold the reference to a method which takes input t and which returns output t now t and t output both are generic you can define them at the time of the declaration so both are generic the last parameter of funks declaration is nothing but the return type of that method funks has a lot of overload so last parameter is always reserved for the output and you can have more than one inputs in funk now that's the definition of funk let's go to video studio and write some code to understand how to use it if you see here we have user class which has property called id and name in main we have list of users with their name and their ids let's write on a code to filter out these users based on their name initials we are going to filter out user whose name start with initial s now if we go back to our definition what we are saying here funk is nothing but a method which accepts something and returns something so in order to explain that in easier language let's write down a function first and then see how we can use it as a func what we want to do here is we want to filter out these users based on their initials so let's filter out user names whose names start with initial s so how to write down a func If you see here, we are getting a notification like what are the different overloads of funk. Like I mentioned before, we can have more than one input property to funk. And the last keyword, T result, is reserved for the output of that funk. Now, let's try it down. Funk which accept user and returns boolean. Now let's name our function as func. We can write down lambda expression here, but we're not going to do that in order to understand the concept of func really well. So we are going to define func. Now here in the declaration, we have to provide the name of the method that accepts user as an input and returns boolean. So let's write it down. user as input and boolean as a result user dot name dot force is equals to s it's giving some error let's see oh user is inaccessible so i made it public 
now in the function declaration we have to define we have to pass this method now this function is referring to a method now what is this method this method has user as an input and which returns a boolean now this method accept user and returns boolean now let's see how to use this one but filtered users users dot where where is nothing but an extension method from link queue which helps us to perform different operation on collections like list dictionary etc so if we see the definition of where it accepts a func which has user input and boolean as return type let's pass our func to it and check if it's working that user in console.line now this is going to return us filtered users and we are iterating to all the users and in the console we are going to write the name of those users let's see if it works here we go sam swati and sameer the important question here is do we need to define this method separately the answer is no we do not need to provide this method separately so if we don't have to provide this method how do we do it we can have a lambda expression for which will accept a user at input and select user dot name dot first is equals to s now this is a lambda expression which is equivalent to a method which takes user as an input which is we which we have defined here and process and return the result of this operation again to make it more simpler do we need to define funs and then pass it to where clause no we do not need to do that so if we comment down this funs declaration and sure we we will get the same result let me show you sam swati sameer in today's video we learn what is funk how to declare it and with live example on how to use it in a code i hope you got clarity if you like this video don't forget to give a big thumbs up press that like button and see you in another video